Hi there, my name's Jack and I got given an assessment to do for college. Now the aim of the assessment was to make a short 3-5 to five minute video about anything that had any relation to Glasgow. My initial thought was maybe to do it on something related to lockdown within Glasgow. I was maybe also going to do it on mental health and how walking, running or any other types of exercises really does help improve your mental health. I was also maybe going to do it on podcasts and why they're so popular right now, why everyone's maybe wanting to try and make one, listen to them, it's what makes a good podcast as well. But, but I think I love football way too much and how can I not talk about one person from Glasgow that pretty much every football fan admires. That is the famous Ali McCoist. He's from East Kilbride and learned how to play football at places like here, Brangham Hall. I'm here at Ibrook Stadium where Ali spent 15 seasons here as a player, scoring 355 goals and 581 appearances for the club, making himself an absolute club legend. This here is Hamden Park. He also represented his country 61 times, scoring 19 goals within that time. I caught up with two football fans from East Kilbride, Ben and Scott. Here's what they had to say about Ali McCoyst. Scott, as a Rangers fan, how much do you see Ali McCoyst as a legend for Rangers? Eh, uh, well, it's one of the things, like, see, I think you can tell a legend, see when, see when you're grown up and you've never seen somebody play, but when you're going to the games and stuff like that, you, you hear the name. So he's obviously done something right uh, in years past, but people are still talking about him. And then obviously, growing up, he was the assistant manager at Rangers, and he's always in and around there. Uh, he's just an absolute icon. And it's not even just his, uh, his footballing ability. See, see when you see him off the pitch and what he does for Rangers behind the scenes, he's he's done so much for the team. Um, and obviously, coming from East Bride, you know, where we are from, um, kind of makes it a bit more personal, but he's a top man, Ali. He's one of the best finishers that Scotland's ever seen. And he came straight for the streets of East Bride, so he's a number one finisher, and I'll take number two finisher. Ben, what do you like about Ali McCoy when he's either on TV presenting, co-commentating, or when he's just on like talk sport or something like that? I think he's just his personality. I think he's just a like really nice and likable guy. And no matter what, no matter whether whether it's a Rangers game or a Scotland game or just a game that he's neutral on, he always seems really interested in what he's like commentating about or being a pundit for. Has Ali McCoy inspired young people from Glasgow slash East Kilbride to like in terms of football and or like in media personality? I would definitely think so because obviously like young Rangers fans definitely look up to him because he's, he's like a club legend. He's done. He's been an absolute servant to the club. And there's, the, there's like the Ali McCoy Centre or something here in East Kilbride. There's even like a sports centre named after him. So I would say he's definitely like a role model for for like young aspiring footballers and definitely somebody who inspires them. When did you first hear about Ali McCoy? That's a good question, by the way. When did I first hear about Ali McCoy? Uh, I don't know. I think it's just see, as a Rangers fan growing up and like, obviously going to the Rangers games, you just obviously hear the name, Ali McCoy, the same way you hear the name of like David Cooper and stuff like that, you just hear them talk about the legends, obviously like your, your older, you know, your grandpa or something like that, just if there's a new player about I would need to do Ali McCoy for them like that.